guys so are you ready to do a DIY project with me so I have this old pillow that I had for a very long time I want to modify that so if you are new to my channel and haven't been here already don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get a video every Monday Wednesday and Friday and I do drawing videos as well as DIY videos so if you have anything for me to draw let me know by commenting below so this is the yarn that I'm going to be using but I'm going to show you how to uh, do the thread with my crochet stick or crochet hook uh, with another yarn because because this yarn is so fluffy and it has a lot of uh, like the yarn itself is very bulky it's hard to show how it looks and uh, when you're uh, putting the threads together or crocheting so this is how it will look I'm just going to extend this same stitch along the way like all around and once I do that I'm going to show you how I do the ends as well so just to show you how I crocheted um, this stitch um, so first thing I have to do is get that loop uh, the first ring loop I don't know what you call it uh, it has a name but I'm gonna call it uh, loop uh, so the first one uh, is that just a knot and um, so that it you can extend or um, make it smaller as you wish so very easy just like that you get the knot and then you I will do 10 stitches for you just a single crochet all the way just 10 uh, loops that's where you're gonna start and then uh, so once you have your 10 stitches or you can make it longer if you're making a longer pillow so get it to the length of the size of your pillow or the size of the pillow that you want to make and once you are done that what you're gonna do is you're going to yarn over and go through the loop twice so double crochet uh, all starting from that end all the way to the next end so you're gonna do yarn over and then two loops and then another two loops just like that and then yarn over again going through that loop there the second one taking it back into the loop two and two so you're gonna do that all the way till you reach the other end and then uh, once you reach the other end I will show you how I'm going to finish the other like going to the other end again so that it becomes a whole square so now uh, you're done and you're going to the other you're going to the other end with double crocheting now you're going to do a single crochet so one loop and turn your work over and then you're going to go inside the next loop and do uh, single crochets all the way till you reach the other end so you're going to keep doing that till you reach the other end and then you're going to switch to double crochet. So that's how I'm going to do the whole uh, pillow length and I will show you how it looks. So this I'm going to show you again. So I'm going to go again until the end um, this single crochet all the way till the end so if you are new and haven't been to my channel before uh, if you want to connect with me through other social media as well like my Instagram Twitter or Facebook send me a message check out the description box below for all that information um, I have all that information down there uh, so you can connect with me easily um, and also send me anything that you uh, want to send me uh, and also you will see some other crocheted items like I did a blanket uh, you will see that in the Instagram pictures as well so now you can see I came to the end and I'm doing a double crochet again so two loops and the yarn over going through the loop again and doing two and two so 
if you're finding this hard to follow uh, there are actual crochet videos that you can follow through and uh, learn how to crochet very easily on YouTube you can follow one of those as well any stitch will look really nice this is the stitch that I um, or the crochet pattern that I chose so this will be much much longer because that pillow that I showed you at the beginning of the video is longer I'm just using this yarn so it looks and it shows well the the threads and how it looks shows well with this yarn rather than the yarn that I'm actually using which is a very bulky furry fluffy yarn um, this type of yarn that I'm using here the tur turquoise one uh, is uh, easy to use because when you're going through the loop sometimes it's hard when you have a fluffy yarn so I'm telling you this if you are a beginner if you're just learning to crochet this type of yarn is very easy to use I find uh, and I am a beginner myself <laughs> I don't consider myself an expert at all I'm just a I just like crocheting and I do simple uh, crochet stitches and uh, do blankets and all that kind of stuff so uh, stay tuned for more blanket making too if you are interested in uh, seeing more of these kind of videos let me know by commenting below I can do more because I crochet a lot so um, I can do more crochet videos as well so now that you know the stitch uh, this is how it looks when I do it with my yarn. This is how uh, my actual pillowcase is going to look like. So you can see that I'm halfway done almost. So I'm going to keep going until I'm ready to close that and make it a uh, cover. So I'm going to keep going and make it bigger and bigger. So now uh, that I have the correct size what I'm gonna do is single crochet I'm gonna uh, put the two ends together uh, just like this I'm holding my I'm recording this on my camera like phone camera so that's why you only see one hand um, so uh, I'm gonna stitch those two together with a single crochet so just the same thing that we did but I'm gonna stitch it together you can actually use a thread and a needle too if you want to and stitch it together so that it becomes a cover so you can put the pillow through um, this uh, cover so once you do that I will show you how I'm going to do the ends as well so you can see how I'm single crocheting just putting going through the um, the ends with the yarn and doing a little stitch so that it becomes a loop uh, like a cylindrical loop so I can put the pillow through um, and have that pillow cover so I'm just trying to show you with one hand here uh, you go through a, uh, the one of the uh, holes in one side and go through the other side and put the yarn through and pull it and then turn the work over so once you do this do it this way and pull it uh, you will go all the way to the end from the beginning to the end and then turn it over so that you don't see the thread side as in like mm, turn the work like upside down uh, if I if you if I say it correctly and then put the pillow through so this is how it looks so you can see now the pillow is inside but the ends are open so all we need to do now is close the ends um, so I hope you're finding this easy to follow let me know in the comments below and um, so all we need to do is now close the two ends so this is how I'm gonna do it I'm gonna uh, mush all the ends together and then I'm gonna put a yarn through uh, the spacing inside each loop and then tie it together in a bow and I'm going to tuck the bow in and hide that thread that I'm going to uh, tighten the uh, hole with so I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side as well so you can see how it'll turn out and it actually turns out nicely with like a little plump on the end uh, which acts like a nice little uh, end uh, if you want to put tussles you can put, do that too 
but uh, this is how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to just uh, put the yarn through each hole and uh, tighten this end. So you will see how I do it. You can use your crochet hook if you like. So I'm going to get a shorter yarn and if you want you can use the crochet hook. Uh, if not, you can just use your hands because the loops are big so you can really use your hands. You don't need a needle or a crochet hook to go inside each hole. Uh, so go all the way all around and then just tighten it and I'll show you how it looks uh, in a bit. So this is just um, me going through each loop um, and uh, it's a very easy craft that you can do if you have a pillow, if you want to change your cover to the pillow and you want to make it fluffier. Uh, you can either, uh, you know, stitch, use a needle and a thread and stitch a pillow or you can uh, crochet it and this yarn actually is very very soft and very comfortable, uh, like it's very soft to touch so it's a very nice pillow material I find, very comfy, so um, that's why I decided to crochet it. So once you go all the way through um, you just pull it just like that so it comes together and if you ever want to these are washable yarns you can actually wash these once you're done so if this pillow cover you can take it out like you know if you want to wash it you, you can do that too so this makes it easier because you're not uh, putting threads and needles right onto the pillow so you can always remove this cover, wash it and put it back on. So you can see how it comes up now all together and then you just tighten and put a knot and tuck it in. Tuck it in like that and you do the same thing on the other side and I will show you how it looks uh, once the other side is done as well. So this is it, this is the pillow. So I like the way it turned out and it's very fluffy, very comfortable. I find it very uh, nice. Uh, you can use different colored yarns as well if you don't want it to look like a bean like I have it here. Uh, but this is how it looks like. I think it goes well with the colors that I have on the bed. Uh, so I'm really liking it. I hope you like it too and if you do like it don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment for me. And if you want to check out other products that I have with the drawings that I usually do on my Redbubble shop, check out the link in the description box below to buy stuff from there as well. And now I put some next videos for you to check out next. I hope you like those as well. And don't forget to hit on my face logo to subscribe to my channel. I bring a video every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And you can request anything for me to do or to draw. Um, if you have anything and if I can do it, I will do it for you. So I hope you have a great day today and I will see you next time. Bye!